Hello, it's Sarah. And my Plum Purdy tiered tray treats came. So it's an unboxing of sorts. Um, this is, I will tell you the official name, the Easter tiered tray bundle. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Um, it's taped. I'll cut it. So I am enjoying these um, tear tray bundles because oh oh I'm cutting bags. That's all right. Anyway, um, <clears throat> because they look so cute displayed together, and it saves me the trouble of making a decision. No. <laughs> All right, so I, the bundles also include the wood and the patterns. So I got five pieces. Um, and let's share what they are that I just cut. Cut this off. Sorry. That was unexpected. All right. So we have the Plum Purdy Bunny in Disguise. So he's got a little egg outfit on. That's so cute. I hope you can see it. I'll come in. I think that's close enough. I don't want to go. Okay. That's number one. And, and it's 3D. So if I look at it, not 3D, but see his little paws are, you glue them on. The little flower by his ha uh, ear. The grass and his nose. His little heart nose. I don't see the nose, but it is in there. There it is. The nose. All right. So that's that one. Then this one's called Easter Gatherings. And it's got a basket with a bunny on the front. And it looks like this piece is separate, see? And then this little egg, oh, all three eggs are separate. The bunny, the little flower on the carrot, and it has a stand. They all usually have a stand. This one has a block. So, and you could do it in any of the colors. Yeah, because I didn't know if I loved the teal as much. But I, do, I love teal. But anyway, um, she's got these as like little ornaments. Very cute. So this must be a different one because it has a little hole here. Anywho, yeah, um, I digress. So this is the second one. Easter gatherings, which is the basket. Then we have Easter, Happy Easter sign, which it just says that Happy Easter with a little carrot. So they're very simple, easy, basic um, patterns. And there's the carrot. And then it also has the sign. Huh. I don't have a sign. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Happy Easter. <laughs> And the carrot, and then this one is spring peep. Peeps are so cute. So I will be prepping and getting these ready. I'm not officially supposed to teach any of her pattern packets. I can only teach the freebies that are on online. And there is one that I haven't done, and it's just it says hop. It's like a sign that says H-O-P, and that there's a little bunny head in the front of the O. Um, and I just haven't done it yet, but I will share these um, when they're done. I do, however, have some one other thing I wanted to share. Um, I found, I shared with you guys this um, Easter egg that I had painted probably 20 years ago, maybe even over 25 years ago. And I found out whose design it is. And her name is Barbara Nielsen. And I Googled it. Actually, you know what happened? It popped up on my Facebook feed. I don't even know why. Like, it was so random. Maybe she just wanted to put out some Easter stuff that she had. But I got this. It's a, uh, a downloadable. It was five bucks. And I also ordered two other patterns. Um, and I don't remember what they're called, so they'll be coming. Um, she also has a wood source, which is always nice when the artist provides you with the source that they got their wood. Um, but this was just a simple egg shape, and I even thought I could convert it to one of these eggs. These are from the Dollar Tree that I think I got these last year, and I never used them. So, I mean, the picture fits real nice, but this is the... Uh, So this is a little small, 
but I could definitely convert it to this and I think that's what I'm going to do. Now, what I'm loving, and you, those of you who watch my channel know, and there's four little egg designs. So I had, I shared that I got these eggs at Michael's. They're 50% off and these are just solid wood eggs. I went back and I got a goose egg, which this is much bigger than this one. I mean, this is a big goose. Maybe this is an eagle egg. <laughs> this is a goose egg. But anyway, I just wanted to play. And then, of course, I found in my stash that I had this pack of eggs. And this looks like I got it from Joann's. But these are even a little bit smaller. So I could make myself a whole basket full of eggs, of all wooden eggs, that I bring out every year. And these could just be dotted or whatever. So, and I'll never get to it all. But I love okay so what i want to share with you guys is this is what i shared with you briefly was i think this is called pen and ink that's what she likes to call these um let's see what she says um synthetic let's see so she uses a pen that's considered a technical pen that you can actually refill with ink and it has specialty nibs and all that stuff and i did order one on Amazon. I think I went on her website. I didn't order this one. The Koinor Co Co pen. Anywho, I probably have one. <laughs> and that's what I have. I have to look around and find it. Um, who knows if it would still write at this point. But what you do is you apply. And I also ordered a, kind of a special. It's called Blue Sarel transfer paper so instead of just using graphite it's a different maybe it's chalk or something Sorel I don't know what that is but it it's easier to um, ink over because sometimes those graphites they have a waxy like so this is not waxy so it'll have a wax to it and then the pen won't be able to write on it so anyway I remember this. I remember it. It's just bringing back old feelings that I, I used to get so excited. So um, she works with washes, which we would consider floats if you've watched my channel. And I can see here that, I mean, I was a beginner, but I still love it. And I'm so glad I kept this egg. For some reason, it's been in my craft room all these years, just hanging around. And it's not like particularly good or I mean it is it's super cute like I know I could do better now obviously but um, I'm just excited to to try and these little patterns so look at that bunny that's usually what it is for me I have to really like the person's artwork and then want to recreate it and that's how I end up buying that pattern that being said um, this one just specifically spoke to me look at the joy I just see joy when I look at that <laughs> and then there are four little egg designs as well um, the same little chicky and bunny that she does here are here the robins so she just made one egg that's just like about those robins then the chick by itself and the bunny by itself and and then she did them in um, duck egg size Maybe this is a chicken egg, this is a duck egg, and this is a goose egg. <laughs> but she did blow them up, so I'm excited. And as I do this, I will jump on and show you any little thing that I think is kind of interesting that you might like to see. Um, but again, I, I, I probably won't be doing a tutorial, an actual tutorial. I'll just share anything that I think is uh, cute. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you all have a beautiful day and at least if not, it, you can have a grateful one. Thanks for watching.